Okay, people, so if we're taking what's going on in the latest stuff from the One Piece manga at face value, up to at the very least, chapter 1038, um, it seems as though Zoro is literally and figuratively on death's door the reaper has finally come they allowed soul society to send a soul reaper to come get our mans roranoa zoro and i ain't gonna lie i just had to throw the soul society in there for why not you know soul reaper grim reaper you know what i'm saying but yes people that is one of the big things that has the one piece community in general a little bit going cuckoo right now because especially with wano seemingly getting towards the wrap up the fights that are finishing obviously we had sanji finish his battle with queen zoro finish his battle with king and this is one of the times that i would argue the most damaging moments that zoro has taken like this is very reminiscent to going back to all the way when zoro took luffy's pain and said nothing happened when sanji said yo what's going on with you fam you know one of the most epic moments in the entirety of one piece this kind of is reminiscent and it seems as though they're pushing the envelope even further that no this is even worse than that scenario that was bad Zoro really was all messed up and whatnot this one is worse that's like taking what he did all the way back then towards the end of Thriller Bark taking Luffy's pain and then doubling it is essentially what I felt and we got to talk about that because yeah this is massive I ain't gonna lie but I feel like there's more to it than meets the eye and of course something else major that's going down right now with the law kid versus big mom and yeah it, it, it's not looking pretty without further ado let's talk a little bit of that one piece great news! it's getting real folks it's gotten real the real has already you know what i'm saying established itself that yo this is this is legit fam this is legit okay yeah let's get into it no matter how you know, get it done no matter So yes, people, chapter 1038 of One Piece, while there were some really big and humongous things that we got to talk about, of course, like again, Zoro, Law and Kid versus Big Mom. Ultimately, there was a few other things going down at the beginning of the chapter. Raizo versus Fukuro Kuju is still ongoing. Yes, I actually been studying how to say his name instead of just referring to him as Ears. And seemingly, if Raizo doesn't undo this jutsu, uh, because maybe he used, I don't know, a Materasu or some shit, ultimately, they're both going to go down. And yeah, I ain't going to lie, I, I still got to keep a buck with you i ain't mad at the way oda is showcasing that fight in particular because i never been the most enthusiastic about that one like show me in vivid detail the sanji fight the zoro fight the luffy fight hell some of the nami fights were really awesome that fight i'm like i is fukuro kuju yes again i know how to say that name now um yeah <laughs> only for now will be really impressed with himself like yo dog i remember how to say that name like yeah give me my props fam and we also got a couple of other pages of like jimbei how you know the fire is starting to spread he's holding up a ceiling from falling down so just giving the the typical you know in a chapter of like hey this guy's doing this this guy's doing that and again slowly inking inching towards like hey it's it's really you know the, the climax is coming the building is falling down by again demonstrating like yeah this is happening with Jimbei later on in the chapter hey look Yamato yet again which I ain't gonna lie we'll, we'll talk about Yamato in a second because before all of that it starts really foreshadowing the devastation the 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 immaculately scary times that we're in when it comes to our man's Zoro because Chapa starts explaining yet again regarding Zoro's condition that fam he was so messed up and I clearly remember he was body casted and all he was so messed up he couldn't move and that drug one of the things uh, it was you know a downfall of it is that yeah it's gonna get you up but then you're gonna feel twice the the hurt twice the pain and if he already had experienced something like this again i gotta keep going back to all the way when he took luffy's pain how the hell honestly it feels like oda is at the very least teasing it and i'm curious to see and i want to ask this question right here for the one piece fandom alone do you think that people will be upset if oda really drags us any further of i guess teasing like yo zoro might die i know anime and manga fans and fans of literature in general are not fans of the whole fake out deaths and there's been a couple of them already during this arc of one piece that has kind of pissed off the one piece fandom people have not been the most happiest and enthusiastic when it comes to some of the moves that oda has made in terms of like oh snap this person is dead oh oh no no oh oh okay what's going on kiku no <laughs> and then following that we go from the chopper scene to seeing actually zoro there's like a grim reaper-esque dude and zoro's like yo who are you and i ain't gonna lie a, a part of me feels like well for the most part is oda in general messing with us it's 
it's Oda in general messing with us because I got to say off rip that, no, I, I, I don't believe that, you know, Zoro is going to die. Like, not right here. Maybe towards the end of the series, fair game. Anything could happen at the end. It's, you know, the a river dirt you. And even then, it's kind of like, will Shueisha and all of these entities allow Oda to pull the trigger on one of the Straw Hats? I guess that will remain to be seen. But as it stands right now, considering Wano is still technically not the finale and there's still a few more arcs to go, no, Zoro ain't dying. In fact, I would argue that this isn't a representation of, so to speak, the Reaper coming for Zoro's soul like you know Zoro's dead or he's like yeah he's on Deb's door and Oda is teasing like if that's the manifestation of like yo Zoro's about to die like the Grim Reaper's here for his soul whatnot but I'm more so believing that that's actually like a real genuine person and maybe they're not necessarily swinging for Zoro maybe they're swinging because somebody's about to hurt Zoro off camera that we don't see or ultimately in general I just feel like that's not the Grim Reaper himself coming for Zoro's soul that Zoro's dead that's an actual person and either they're attacking Zoro or they're going to save Zoro or it's just a misunderstanding and Oda is pulling our leg. That's genuinely what I feel about that scene. I don't think that that's the actual Grim Reaper. Even though if, if Oda did go down that route, if Oda got in his bag of, yo, dog, I might kill them straw hats, fam. I think it would blow a lot of people's minds, but I don't, I, I don't particularly see Oda saying, yeah, we, we, we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna like, come on. Is Zoro really going to die pre-end of series? End of series, again, I got to say, like, Usopp could die. Nah, I mean, who knows? But not now. And again, I don't think that's the actual Grim Reaper. I could be wrong, though. And not to mention the fact that Zoro's body can't move makes it even more like, holy shit, this could be the death of Zoro. But moving on the chapter, there was other big things going down. The fact that CP0 is still on the scene. And I ain't going to lie. It gave me a little bit of a chuckle of, like, yo, Whitebeard's people, you know, his division leaders and stuff like that. They're still those dudes. I was going to say they were, but no, they still are because CP0, they run into Izo and they're like, we're supposed to get you, but I ain't even going to lie, dog. We ain't ready for that type of tango right now. We're, we're here for Straw Hat, so we're going to let you rock out. You do you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, y'all know that y'all don't want these problems is what it is. And I love the fact that Izo's like, oh, but like, just because y'all don't want these problems, like, Hey, come over here. We're going to do this. And that's that Izo has already, like, underestimated, I guess, the the scenario of what's going on right now. And even has to remind himself at a given point, like, wait a minute. I'm fighting the Beast Pirates right now. I'm actually a little more injured than I would have expected because, like, he was taking it lightly. But ultimately, yeah, even Izo is going to press CP0, which, good. Get off my girl Robin. I just got to stress that yet again. Get off of her. And then once again, we see Yamato and we finally see more progression of she went to go stop because, you know, the thing is dropping on the armor and it's going to cause a massive explosion so she uses glacier and i ain't gonna lie some of the critiques that i do have is like i feel like yamato has been running towards this storage for a hundred million years and it might only be 10 or 20 chapters but it has felt like forever it has given me somewhat vibes of rebecca and dress rosa and the anime like that's how like okay I, I want more epicness of yamato like she was such a really awesome character since she's been introduced i don't know if oda just didn't necessarily know what to do uh, to make it more engaging because i don't care that she's running towards the armory anymore let's get on with it and i'm glad that actually this chapter shows that okay we're, we're pushed to shove she's there at the armory she's using her glacier to stop things from exploding so we can move on from that plot point because that's not my favorite subplot per se like there's there's different levels to this shit and right now she's at the lower one literally and figuratively because you know she's at the lower level basement you know the armory yeah and then we cut to the final part of the chapter and i ain't gonna lie i've seen a lot of kids slander in the last couple years man it really does feel like kid as awesome as he was built up to be because yo even when was it it wasn't that long ago that it looked like kid had actually got the w over big mom and i don't know if oda just wasn't satisfied with that or it just wasn't part of his plans or it wasn't meant to feel like a grand finale because i ain't gonna lie that time where he used that big attack that turned big mom almost into like a magnet and everything went flying at her it felt like that was supposed to be the finale of kid and law versus big mom and again maybe oda changed his mind maybe it wasn't supposed to feel like the finale or just in general order wanted to show no even all of that being said still wasn't enough to put down big mom it injured her but it wasn't enough to take her out completely because i find myself thinking to myself oh shit we're still law and kid versus big mom like l l let's do this damn thing already let's put it down or big mom take them out because people's is begging big mom like please spare them spare the captain come on what are you doing as law and kid are on the ground and big mom ready he's like ah man the 
the simps, I, I don't got time. I know they be simping over this big mom juiciness, you know what I'm saying? The, taste the flavor, but I'm headed towards the rooftop, which, again, Luffy don't want none of those problems. Like, he's having a great fight with Kaido. He does not want the problem of Kaido and Big Mom, and I think Kaido will get pissed at this particular point if Big Mom wants to get up there. I think he's enjoying this fight too much to be like, yeah, yo, mama, let's go, let's team up. Like, no, he wants that 1v1 just as much as Luffy does. Like, they both have that same fighting killer spirit but as big mom ready to go to the rooftop law hits her with a giant freaking sword anesthesia and he's he, he's still in the fight so it's not completely yet a knockout for either of them and it's not necessarily even the knife that is like the pain that big mom feels it's the shock wow that he uses to shock her and then in unison kid uses an attack as well his magnet thing once again which i kind of feel like they should have did the job the first time if we were going to go that route. Because the homies start getting dragged thanks to Kid's ability. Punk corner Dio. And it ends with Kid and Law saying that they'd rather die than let Big Mom get to the rooftop. And yeah, I'm ready for that one to wrap up too. I, I almost feel like, and I don't want to doubt Oda because Oda has time and time again shown us that. No, he, he's got a plan. But it's definitely interesting to say the least that it feels like to me like, well, how do you satisfy put a conclusion and a satisfying one at that to this battle where everybody walks away saying well no they really found a, an incredible way but it made sense of how they beat big mom and just in general how do you wrap that up without anybody feeling like yo kid looked like a straight bitch which that's for the most part what word on the street is it's just kid slander all over the place not so much law really for kid and yeah people very curious what you guys think about this chapter though uh zoro is that truly the grim reaper is zoro gonna die like Nah, fam, I don't believe it. Also, Kid and Law versus Big Mom, you think this is going to be what takes her out and what finally puts her down for the count for a bit. And your overall thoughts where everything's going. Again, it feels like we're at the climax. We're just going to be here for a bit because things need to wrap up in its proper pacing, the way One Piece does it. And yeah, I ain't going to lie, man. Zoro does make you wonder, like, Oda, what are you really going to do here, though? Like, don't don't, don't get too wild with us, Oda. Oda! Oda! But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm from the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga. For life, boy! Have an awesome day. Peace in, and I don't know. Let's just end it with a nice One Piece greatness. Have an awesome one. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. That'd be awesome.